All right, guys, just work a, a solid back take. I like to work off my guard passing here. So when looking for the back, I love using guard passes to help me set up the back take, right? So for example, let's say we're here, we're passing the open guard. I want to step into my HQ position, which is basically one leg in, one leg out. So real quick, I grab the shins here. I press the legs in. When he presses back, I step in. Now when I step in, notice I push the legs away from where I'm stepping to, right? So I'm stepping towards my right as I press the legs out to my left. So again, I press, he presses back, I step. Now when I step here, guys, I wanna lower my level here so my chest is on the same level as his knee. Now, I can lean forward. As I lean forward here, I'm gonna use my left hand to make an underhook here. But I'm not gonna make the underhook right off the bat. I'm gonna place my left hand there so I can make a future underhook, right? So you guys will see what I mean in a second. So as I lean forward here, I place the palm of my hand on the mat, right by his rib cage, right hand above his shoulder. Now from here, guys, Nick's gonna be trying to work, he's gonna work hard to get back towards his left hand side, regardless, he wants to get back to his left hip to play guard. At the same time, as I lean forward, I'm gonna whip towards my right hand side, pull him onto his side here. Now, notice how my left hand became the underhook now. Now from here, I'm in a deep knee cut where there's no, there's no knee shield, there's no leg last, so there's nothing stopping me now, right? I have the shot underhook here with my form locked in on his rib cage. What this is doing here is forcing him to stay on his side. He can't bring his shoulders back to the mat to hide his back. His back is exposed right now. So now with this in place here, I'm pointing my knee out. Now I want you guys to keep this in mind. This is a quick transition here, right? I'm pausing here so I can explain to you guys the little details. But as soon as I make this position here, I'm pointing my knee out and I'm continuing to pass. Boom. As I pass here, right hand is pushing his head down so I can step over the head with my left leg. I'm sorry, my right leg. I step. As soon as I step here, I'm going to spin to my two knees here. When I spin to my two knees here, my whole goal is to get my, sh my chest right at his shoulder. So again, I press, I step, and I spin to my two knees here. As I spin to my two knees here, I'm on my toes. This way, if Nick tries to bring his shoulders back to the mat, there's a barrier right behind him stopping him from hiding his back. Once we get here, we're locking in the seatbelt right away. Once, it, once I lock in the seatbelt here, guys, I'm going to bring my left knee to the back of his head. So my left knee is going to step up. I'm going to bring it right towards the back of his head. Now I'm going to pull his head onto my lap. As I pull his head onto my lap here, guys, I'm going to pivot so my left leg is parallel to his back here. So when I pivot, I want to close my left leg towards his back, just like this. Now at the same time, I've created an angle where I can kick my right leg up and over. So I bring my right heel to his hip. From here, we're gonna hit one of my favorite back takes here, called the chair sit, right? So now that I'm here, I'm keeping everything super tight. I'm trying to stay as low as possible. Just make a, a mental note of not letting your, sh your chest separate too far away from his shoulder blades, right? If I separate too much here, it's too much space here. You can start working and escape. I keep my chest nice and low. I keep everything in tight. I keep his head right on my lap. I keep my shoulder right behind his head as well. Now for me, when I chair sit here, guys, I'm gonna pull back. But when I pull back, I'm gonna to fall towards my right hand side. As I fall towards my right hand side, my left foot's gonna be right there, ready to kick in for the second hook. So I fall back and then I lean towards my right hand side the very last second. One and two. As I'm leaning towards my right hand side, I'm kicking that second hook in. Now we land on the back with the seatbelt and two hooks here. Once we land here, we're in a good spot here. We landed on the wrong side where his shoulder's still free here, but if you're in a position here where you feel uncomfortable, something you can do to help you stabilize the position here, control the wrist, come over the top, lock in a Kimura grip, this way he can't slide the shoulder off to the mat. So again, we're gonna start back in that HQ position. We step in, right? When you step in, my whole goal is to have one leg in, one leg out. So as I step in, I push the legs away. Left leg's angled here, chest is nice and low, so I can lean forward here and allow his leg to carry my weight. Now from here, I place my left hand, which will become an underhook in a second. I place my right hand above his shoulder. Now as I lean here, I'm gonna whip towards my right hand side. As I whip, my left hand's gonna go palm up to catch his tricep. So I go one and two. I pass, step, uh, press the head down. We step and we spin to the two knees here. Now I lock in the seatbelt. What you wanna do right away is bring your left knee behind the person's head and then pull their head onto your lap. This way you have good control of their head and upper body. 
from here, I'm gonna fold my left leg parallel to his back here. As I fold it, at the same time, I'm gonna swing my right foot in as the first hook. I'm gonna kick the leg up and over. So as I swing, one and two. Heel right to the hip. Fits in like a puzzle piece. Keep your chest nice and low. Now for the chair sit, just like a chair sit, you're gonna fall back into your chair. As I fall back here, I'm gonna fall and then fall towards my right hand side here. As I fall, left foot's gonna kick in right away. This way we don't give him a chance to defend. Chin down, tight seat belt. Now we're on the back with two hooks here. 